Welcome to IT Campus, sir, and thank you so much for being with us and talk to us today. I want to directly deep dive into this whole rapidly changing, ever evolving, hard to keep up uh, technology world and the new age of technology. Where do you think we are headed? What is the near future looking like? Uh, I, I, there are no surprises. Uh, Everybody is talking about AI and machine learning, and I think that's probably one of the places where you see everybody wanting to work in Absolutely. and everybody has needs the industry it's it's a every industry has needs in ai and ml machine learning applications so foundational knowledge in uh, ai artificial intelligence and machine learning and applications in the specific domains that each of the students or any audience wants to pursue so those are some of the topics that uh, are of interest and probably lots of opportunities there. Where, where are we seeing we, us progressing, say, in the next five years? How much of just the AI and that concentration, security, cybersecurity, digital, digitalization, AI, like how much of that concentration is uh, going to continue in the computer science field? So I think the way I see it is it's going to go beyond computer science because every area is able to digitalize or digitize the data that they, uh, the surrounding things, uh, all the data that they collect is available in a digital uh, medium. So uh, it's not just computer science uh, majors, but computer science majors can help right. use that data and can computer science majors can help those different areas. So in that sense, computer science can ma play a major role, especially in rolling out AI in and applications of AI and machine learning in the various domains. Right. And side by side, what happens once you have these large scale use of machine learning, uh, you just want to be much more careful. Uh, uh, safety is an important aspect of uh, uh, use and deployment of machine learning. Security of use is also another important aspect of this. So application domains, AI itself, safe AI, and safety and security. These are the four pillars, I think, that might be in the future in the next four years, five years, and beyond, who knows. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, see, uh, according to a lot of data, there's a lot of uh, opportunity that seems to be coming up or is already there, I'm, if I may say, in terms of the cyber security, digital security sector. But uh, we see that not enough so there are opportunities, but maybe not many seats are getting filled. Uh, where is this disparity and how do we overcome this requirement? So cybersecurity, there's lots of uh, demand. Uh, there's not enough people. At least that's, uh, I, I work in the US, so I see that uh, as, as a significant uh, 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 need in terms of uh, filling uh, lots of uh, openings and lots of opportunities there. And I think similar opportunities exist even within India and I haven't followed yes, that as much. So cybersecurity, uh, the, the demand is there, but there is not enough uh, capacity to, f to fill that demand. So, yes. but, uh, so, uh, so just focusing on cybersecurity is one thing, but applying cyber using machine learning and applications of machine learning in cybersecurity and uh, cybersecurity of machine learning. Those could be two ways how uh, you can bring in students who are even interested in machine learning yes. into this area. So that's how I see potential. Everywhere there's a huge uh, needs ga capacity in a uh, gap in terms of uh, what we need and what we want. Absolutely. And uh, since you mentioned uh, students, uh, uh, at IIT Kanpur, obviously we have the largest population of the undergraduate students. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think uh, or what would your advice to them say would be in terms of where should their focus lie so that they can build a sustainable career for them, not look at maybe a short term goal, but how to continue and how to have a successful long lasting career. What is the concentration that's required right now? So fun fundamental courses is always fundamental yes. computer science, fundamentals of machine learning and fundamentals of cybersecurity. All of these are important things. But the key thing that you learn, uh, the key takeaway is it, maybe five years down the road, you may not be, or 10 years down the road, you may not be working on the topics you worked this year 
or you are planning to work, uh, even what you are planning five years from now, that might not be the place where you might be working. Right. So being flexible and being able to adapt and being able to adapt quickly is one thing that you want to learn and take away from uh, your four years or five years uh, either four-year BS or a five-year dual degree at IIT right. Kanpur and everywhere else. Everywhere, yes. Yeah. That's absolutely true. I think because it's changing so fast, you need to have that adaptability. Yeah. Uh, my last question, sir, would be that uh, from the educational institute's point of view, it's a constant work to keep up with what's coming next, especially in this field, which is just constantly like something new is coming up literally every single day. Mm -hmm. So um, how is that, like your experience been in terms of you travel all over the place, you're obviously teaching in the US, but also going to all other universities uh, all across. So how do you um, see the institutes and the educational um, backbone for like the world adapting to some things like these? So uh, when I was, when I started teaching, uh, I was teaching circuit design, but pretty quickly the need, uh, we saw the need for cybersecurity and chip design, so we adapted. And more recently, again, this is my time scales are 10 to 15 years, not five years. Right. So we again adapted to the recent onslaught of language models, AI, and so on. So, and the students demand new courses, and Absolutely. we adapt according to the student demands and the, and the uh, the needs of the governments and the needs of the industries. So that's how uh, we are like we are trying to be flexible and listen to the students and listen. These are all our audiences. So that, that's where uh, that's one thing I do. I have moved, as I said, in three different topics, and I see my colleagues too. Similarly, both in IIT Kanpur, I work with uh, Sandeep Shukla uh, yes. and. Uh, uh, and others, uh, your own uh, director, as uh, Professor Marinder Singh. We worked, for the, I think it's almost 15 years since we have collaborated on uh, these uh, outreach activities, especially in cybersecurity. I've been here probably three to four times already. Okay. And there's the annual hackathon that happens here. So, and the same thing, same hackathon in cybersecurity happens in uh, New York at the same time. Oh, wow. uh, uh, this has been, I think it's the 15th or 16th year. It happens uh, at the same time in India, in, in Europe, in Asia, uh, in uh, Mexico, and in the uh, US. Wow. So this cross-continental uh, uh, collaboration and uh, outreach is something that I enjoy and uh, I work with several of the f young faculty here yes. and senior faculty here. So that's one of the reasons why I keep coming back to Indian institutions and especially IIT Kanpur. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir, for giving us your time. Thank and you. we hope to have another conversation soon sometime. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.